Hey, Ty here. In today's video, we witnessed the ultimate, ultimate showdown of product research tools. In one corner, we have Ecom Hunt, the black, green, and white, owned by Mordecai Arbor. He is a veteran in the dropshipping space. Now, if there was a degree in product research, this guy would have it. In the other corner, we have Peekster. Peekster is owned by two people, 30% owned by the king himself, Camille Satar. Now, he's a big YouTuber in the space. He even has a nine hour tutorial. Yeah, that's right, nine hours on Shopify dropshipping and setting up your store. So before we get started, we are gonna be ranking the videos on three categories. Those categories are navigation and content, resources such as learning guides, social media, and value for money. Now, something else to consider is that Ecom Hunt has released a new version of its website. So it has its Ecom Hunt Classic and its new user interface. We are gonna be using the new interface, but if you do wanna see how the old classic version works, then do check out my previous video, which was Ecom Hunt vs Dropship Rabbit. So that was kind of like a video one in this series. So without any further delay, I'm gonna disappear off screen, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and let's get straight into it. So Ecom Classic goes back to the classic homepage, your classic product search. Ecom Live, this looks to be the trending product page. So like products which are trend trending right now. You would hope these were the same sort of products that are on the classic product page. When we click on the product, what do we get? We get the orders, interest over time. It's quite useful to know. Moving on to Ecom Hunt Lucky, it's just a lucky dip. Shows you a random product, it's shown us What's this? This is acupuncture slippers. Now looking, now looking at the decline and the dates of this chart, could you really class this as a trending product? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, da, 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 Ecom Hunt Tracker. This is where you can track previously saved products. So we can see here where I've saved a phone case. We can see the seven days growth, how many sales it's made today. Bear in mind this is pulled through just AliExpress, I believe, so it doesn't take into account sales from other platforms. Ecom Hunt Adam, this is a new feature. I've not, not actually seen this before. This is Meet Adam, your AliExpress product research virtual assistant. What a mouthful that is. So this is more of the same, I guess. You're able to filter and search for a product you want. I must say I prefer this to the old design because, well, they have a lot of categories on the old design. Like if you look here, this just seems unnecessarily uh, when you're looking for a product do you really need this many ca categories they also have a page to their ecom home chrome extension which allows you to filter facebook ads so you, basically you can spy on trending products now over to peakster we open up the home page the site is a little bit slower but i reckon that's due to me having hundreds of tabs open so i'm not going to penalize them for that so it opens up showing us the top ads and the trending products I don't know if it's just because they're using the full width of the screen, but it does seem like there's a lot more going on. Over to the navigation, we have dashboard, winners, spy, explorer, suppliers, ad generator, and ad builder. Over to the winners page, we can see the dates are fairly recent. I'm filming this on the 19th, so these are just a couple of days ago. We can sort by niche. Again, maybe they've gone a bit too far with the category filter. Some of these literally have zero products in. Moving on to the product spy, there are ads which are doing well on Facebook right now. Uh, there's this, oh, I've got this drill. Irrelevant, but. So you can click the ads and it'll take you to Facebook. Here we have TikTok spy tool. I think this is very clever. I've not seen like another product tool that lets you do this. Most of them are usually Facebook ads rather than TikTok. This shows you the best ads on TikTok and even links you to the TikTok itself. So you can see comments and you can see views. To be honest, two likes and zero comments. I don't know why this is on this page. I guess they don't necessarily show you trending ads. They just pull you, pull through the ads that are currently on TikTok, and then you have to decipher whether they're good or not. A lot of the products on this page have not really seen a lot of engagement. I don't think I'd class any of these as trending right now. Anyway, moving over to Product Explorer, this is very much similar to Ecom Hunt Classic page. It's even got a print on demand products on there, which is quite good. Links you to the competitor's store, so you can do a bit of spying. Pretty good, pretty good store, to be honest. Anyway, I digress. Back to the site. 
we can filter and sort a lot of categories once again but all in all it's a very good product tool page we have the store explorer which i guess is must be quite similar to the last one can we we can sort by most orders no we can't okay so we can't sort by most orders but let's find one that we like the look of here we have warmday.co.uk well designed general store not bad at all i doubt they've tested all of these because i know at least one of them is a bit of a dud anyway back to the site it's pretty standard would be better if you could sort by orders or revenue just so you're not wasting your time filtering through we move on to supplier so ecom hunt did not have a suppliers tab they did have links to suppliers like aliexpress um, cj dropship and things like that oh here's one straight to the aliexpress site still shipped in four weeks it's a shame that you can't refine the search to the, uh, the delivery time to less than four weeks i think that'd be a good feature so here you have the ad generator oh how this looks interesting all right we'll try this out so let's add url i'm just going to add my youtube my youtube channel a photo um let's add little old me in there add two photos okay let's just add this thumb oh no that doesn't work let's use this stock image and generate oh wow I know someone who needs this that would that'd make a great dating profile wouldn't it anyway that's that's a really good tool and for someone who can't afford like a professional ad or already has good quality photos that like, this is absolutely ace oh. thumbnail ad generator i imagine that's the same kind of thing should we give that a go okay so same again i guess i'll put in the same url and the same two photos uh, or the same photo even and um, we can add text so yep that's add that oh lovely now if that doesn't make you want to subscribe i don't know what will it's not the best of designs but it's a great tool and it's part of the subscription so i guess it's a good added bonus on to category two resources learning and guides okay so you have an entire tab of resources you've got masterclass ebooks youtube podcasts facebook community and now switching over to peakstar you well you don't have anything like at all like we don't even see links to their social media the website is 30 percent owned by camille who has 300k subs on youtube and there's not a single social media link or plug or anything like that but yeah that's that's quite shocking really that they don't have any social media anyway i'm ranting back to ecom hunt so you've got the master classes paid course okay well ecom home might have lost some points there um ebooks like i said most of these are pro membership the free ones don't work oh, that, that's great uh, youtube see something like this for pizza would have been like great there's mr arbor repping his product research tool oh there's even there's econ king <laughs> suggested at least he's got some exposure there now moving on to podcasts this looks like interviewing people in the space kind of like success stories these kind of podcasts are really great because you can learn different perspectives oh look there's camille again um it's funny how he appears up more on ecom hunt than he does his own site uh moving on so you've got ecom hunt with massive and massive amounts of content there and then you've got peakster with absolutely nothing anyway moving on to the third category value for money hey look i'm back on the screen did you miss me of course you did so value for money um they're both pretty decent you could pay off both of the monthly subscription fees with one or two sales but the question that you have to ask yourself is which platform is more likely going to get me those one or two sales when you're deciding should i go with peakster or should i go with ecom hunt you need to ask yourself one question and that is going to be what platform do you want to run ads on if you want to run ads on facebook i would personally be more inclined to go with ecom hunt they have all the learning and guides, they have the tutorial, they have the ebook, they have the checklist. They have all that information at your disposal. You're not going to have to go anywhere else to research and to find it. You're not going to have to do some mentoring or pay £2,000 for a ridiculous course. All the information is on in one place. It also has the Facebook target suggestions as well that you could make use of. If you're going to run ads on TikTok, then I think you've got to go with Peakster. It's just the obvious choice here. Despite the lack of learning material, which is a huge setback. Camille, if you're watching this, what are you doing? 
plug your YouTube channel, put in that nine hour course because it would add value to it 100%. And the things like the spy tool and the thumbnail creator and the ad creator are just like awesome tools that are definitely worth a subscription fee. Even if you've got Ecom Hunt and you're using that, just to have those tools at your disposal are worth that subscription fee. That's all from me folks, hope you liked the video, if you did, drop a like, if you've got any questions, hit them down below. If you want to see me prepare another product research tool or another website, then do let me know in the comments and I will make it happen. Thanks ever so much for watching, check out my other videos and I'll see you in the next one.